shopping season has officially begun and electronics are on many people's wish list this year, of course. And here to tell us about some of the popular items out right now, we have Julio Ojeda Zapata. He's a technology writer for the St. Paul Pioneer Press. Hello. Thank you so much for Hi. coming in. Thanks for having me. Hopefully you had a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, yes, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get this started because you've kind of got a, a gamut of different technology items from ones that are really expensive to some mm -hmm. that are more affordable. And we start with, I believe this is one of the more expensive items. Yeah, this is uh, the, uh, everyone's familiar with Apple, Apple iPads. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the, the brand new uh, version of the iPad Pro. And which, why do you like the Pro so much? Well, this is the this is the big one, which is uh, nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. And what I like about this is this is a, it's not just a tablet; it's a full bore computer. If you want to go on the road and be really productive uh, on a device that's uh, beautiful and reliable and really fun and easy to use, this is a, this is a good choice. It has its uh, attachable keyboard. It has the little stylus. Oh, that's nice! I didn't even notice that it on there. It snaps on there. Okay. And uh, I have Mac at home. So when I go on the road, I don't need another Mac. So I so I just use an iPad. And you don't have to transport a keyboard. It's all connected. And it it, it all it folds up really neat. And what is the cost of this? I, uh, I think you're you've got WCCO on it, so we always like that. Yeah, this is a Lenovo uh, smart display. Everybody's familiar with uh, with Alexa devices, uh, with Google Home devices. This is a smart speaker that has a screen built in. And what do you like about it compared to maybe the Alexa? Well, the, the fact that there's a screen on it means that I can put it next to my computer when I'm working in my home office and I say, uh, hey, Google, play WCCO TV. <laughs> we like that and very does, much. And it does that. <laughs> we like that. Oh, and look, Google is listening to you right exactly. there. <laughs> we'll so, shut down So when Google. I want the latest news update, I just say, play CCO TV. Let's turn this off here. Okay, and then moving on next, this is just a, a way for people, instead of a pillow, they can put their iPad on this. Yeah, this, I use this on the front porch, I use this on the couch, I use this at home, feel it, it's soft. Very, very comfortable. Uh, and I put the iPad on here when I'm reading ebooks or watching movies in bed. And then this is the, the, this is the mini version mm -hmm. where you can, you, you can stand on your phone. It's called, a, these are stumps. Uh, stump. Uh, I have stand. one similar for my iPad. It's not this big, but I really like it. I use it yeah, a lot in the kitchen. Yeah, the problem with phones is they don't have built-in stands, so this is fantastic. And then this is we have chargers, which this is really nice because I feel like you're always looking for that charger when you're at home. You don't know where it's plugged in, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, a company called Nomad, GetNomad.com, makes a, a lot of power devices. This is a wireless charger. Uh, phones these days charge wirelessly, so you just put the phone on here and it's charging. I have this next to my desk at work. And this is for, for when I'm bicycling or when, when I'm on the road. It's a, it's a charging, it's just a standard mm -hmm. iPhone charging cable, but it has a battery built in. Yeah, that's really nice, and so, hopefully it lasts a little bit longer for you, too. Yeah, it'll, charge, it'll fully charge a phone, and if you don't have power outlet, you have the power built right into the cord. And then this is for uh, the parents at home who are maybe looking for a little bit of a higher-end security system. Yeah, there, there a couple of security camera options. This is the Wise Cam. What's amazing about the Wise Cam is it's a really good camera. It's only twenty bucks. Wow, that's really affordable. A, and then is this one a little bit more expensive? This is a little more souped up. It's two hundred dollars. But the the nice thing about this is it's a it's a security camera for parents. It has a nightlight built in oh, yeah, for the so baby. You, and then you can keep an eye on those babysitters and make sure they're checking in on your little ones. Oh, and it plays music. We're playing a lullaby. How nice. Yes. Yeah, very, so, very. So if you have a baby, sweet. You, you want one of these things. Uh, let's go to some of the items you have here in the front. Starting with, these are just good little gift items if you're looking for stocking stuffers. And what do you like about these? What are they called? Uh, this is a Minneapolis company called Pat and Cool that makes all kinds of cases. I saw they're doing a deal right now too. If you have never purchased an item, you do get ten dollars off. Yeah, exactly. They, they have all kinds of deals, um, and they have cases for iPads. They have cases for, for phones. And these these are just three examples of really one. This is my iPhone uh, ten. 10s Max. Okay. And these are just examples of different kinds of cases that they have. This is all leather. This is all wood. This is kind of a wood frame where you put the phone in. And then you've got all of your wallet. credit card storage. Yes. Yeah, so if you have a big purse and you want to just throw that in there, it's perfect. And finally, we end with some smartphones because we know all of the teenagers at home. That's what they're asking for. Or they already have one and they might want an upgrade. Yeah. The, this. Uh, phone is really expensive. Uh, Apple came out with the iPhone 10R, 
which has most of the capabilities in the fancier phone, but it's a lot cheaper. It's about $750. And the other one is what, a thousand? A thousand or more. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, and it come and the the, the 10R. The nice thing about it, it comes in all kinds of different colors. Okay. Uh, if iPhones are not your thing, my favorite non-Apple phone is is Google's uh, uh, Pixel 3. What do you like about that? The camera. It's a really good phone overall, but the camera, it has some, some uh, night shooting features, a whole, whole bunch of tricks with the camera that are, are a little superior to the iPhone, which is amazing because Apple is known for its, its phone cameras. The Pixel 3 has the most amazing camera I've ever seen. So if you like to take photos on your phone, which who doesn't, that's a good option for people and a good alternative for people mm -hmm. who don't like to use iPhones. And finally, we have this. Yeah, the, everybody knows about the AirPods, uh, but these are really uh, good. And the reason, even though they're, they're, they've been around for a while, the reason I'm showing them today is because two days ago, I ran them through the wash. And they still work? For the fourth time. Oh, wow. And they're still working. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just amazed by those things. So you should, if you need uh, good earbuds for your phone, and they also work with non-Apple phones, you Durability. Should, you should definitely get them, yeah. You have proved it. Putting yeah. them in the washer four times. Well, Julio, thank you so much for joining us. Happy holidays to you. And, of course, if you want to learn more information, we have more information at wcco.com slash links.